All right, I'm filming this so we can live see if this is a uh, fail or a really cool use of 3D printing. We have here a broken car. Oh, its wheel had an unfortunate trip down the stairs and its driver is very a very sad five-year-old now. Now, you might think the easiest way to fix this would be to glue it or something, but it looked like it just wasn't gonna really work. So I thought, why not just 3D print a new wheel? So we went over to Tinkercad, great work, creating a free product, and we designed something that looked about like this, get a little spoke action there. Of course, we gotta hollow it out to make it look like a cool rim, and move that over into Cura to go ahead and slice it up. And I picked a cubic 20% infill, which looked like it had pretty good coverage to give some strength. So we will see how this prints out. Um, we of course have our choice of filaments, and I wasn't sure if we should go with gold, silver, copper, or white, but instead I thought we'll go with black. The reason we went with this black filament is it's actually a stretchy filament. It's actually, so I thought we'll get sort of almost a rubbery type feel. Here's the finished product. Let's see if we can get it off the build plate one-handed. Not quite coming off. No, oh, there it goes. All right. So here we have our wheel. And what I, what is cool about this filament, like I said, is it actually is a little bit spongy and deformative. So I thought this might be able to take the bumps of life a little better. So, if you could hold that please for one second. Thank you. We got our nice little hexagonal thing which we measured out. Let's see if ooh, it fits on loosely. And of course, for us to properly lock down, it's going to have to be screwed on. I did not design that part because it was just too much. But this is what we got. A little bit bigger than the other wheel. No real rubber traction. But let's give it a little try and see what happens. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, it actually is new. Now, there might be other broken wheels on this, I have no idea. Because this guy took a pretty mean fall down the stairs. But it looks as if it is almost working. Oh, there it goes. All right, reattached that wheel and just put a little extra tape around the axle to tighten it up. And then also put some black tape around the wheel itself to kind of hold that together a little better. And now it's running like a champ. Alright, thanks for watching.